So crystallization catalysts within the first descendant are one of the most important materials in regards to progressing and making your descendant more powerful. In this video guide, I bring you an updated version on the best way to get tons of these in a small amount of time as possible. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and before we go any further to say thank you for the amazing support you've shown me on the first descendant. I'm giving away ultimate descendants or the equivalent in that caliber. I've given away three already. Because unlike some, my giveaways are actually legit. So I will pick one person on a weekly basis who supports me by liking and commenting on my videos. Also make sure you are subbed. The more I see you, the more of a chance you have of winning. I will announce winners at the end of the week, normally on Sunday or Monday's video. Also guys, join my Discord link down below. I'm trying to build an amazing First Ascendant community. Now this is an updated version of a video I posted a few weeks back. It's way more consistent in getting these catalysts uh, if you follow today's video, but obviously it takes part in harder parts of the game. The video I posted a couple weeks back was obviously all normal mode with minimal chances. Today's video optimizes everything this game offers to give you the best chance in getting these crystallization catalysts. Now with me doing this, I got around six of these crystallization catalysts in the space of about 20 minutes doing a complete farm here. It's a method I've put forward to my pals who have also taken advantage of this and saw themselves getting some amazing luck. But you have to remember, it's a method based on materials you get in this game which rely on RNG and chance. Some might try this and not get as lucky, while others might try this and get even luckier than me. Cool. Another thing, there are countless ways to get these crystallization catalysts in this game but the highest percentage coming from an amorphous pattern is 20%. So my goal was to find the quickest way to get an amorphous pattern, which takes actually no stress at all. And this is a farm I bring you guys today. It also doesn't require you to take out a void intercept boss either, which is great. This method uses those void fusion reactors, but this method will allow you to double up or triple up on your chances with an easy to beat normal mode boss, a normal mode void boss for an extra chance of getting this material this crystallization catalyst. Also, don't worry about the shards which are needed to start the void fusion reactors. There are easy ways to get these too, which I'll explain when we get to that point in the video. Okay, so the crystallization catalyst consists of five parts. The first four being materials, which we'll cover later on in the video, but firstly the main material, the crystallization catalyst blueprint. Now, how I got so many of these so fast was by farming three different amorphous pattern materials. All three have a 25% drop chance and all three are farmed from the three zone recon missions up on sterile lands on that hard mode. The amorphous pattern materials of 60, 62 and 64, these are the ones we're going to be farming today. Now these, like I said, do have a 25% drop chance from these zone recon missions, but farming them is an absolute breeze and just rotate each one, you'll see yourself getting a load of these amorphous pattern materials. Now you can just stick to one and farm the same one over and over, but that is completely up to you. Now once you have some of these amorphous pattern materials, you then need to use them at the relevant void fusion reactors. Now pattern material 60 is used right here, which requires monomer void shards and polymer void shards to start up. 64 is used here, which requires polymer void shards and organic void shards to start up. And 62 can be used here, which requires monomer void shards and inorganic void shards to start up. Now, if you played on Bunny or Sharon and took advantage of that Bunny XP uh, loot cave farm, you should have thousands of the monomer void shards and inorganic void shards. If not, don't worry about it, and if shards are what you lack and worry about in doing this, I have the perfect place for you. The Hagia Special Operation is an easy mission to do, it's wave based, but only goes up to a wave 38. It takes approximately 15 minutes to complete if you have a competent team, and while you do this, you get a shit ton of all kinds of shards. Now the benefit of doing this special operation though, is the added benefit of the round based rewards namely Amorphous Pattern Material 45, where doing this you have multiple chances of getting this. So not only will this reward you avoid shards, but also patterns too. Now if you have any of these Amorphous Pattern Material 45s, you can then use them on a normal mode a Swamp Walker bus, uh, the Void Intercept bus, and get a 15% chance of getting the Crystallization Catalyst Blueprint. So yeah. Now once you have enough of these Void shards, you can then start up the Void Fusion Reactors. 
It's these and this method which in my opinion is the quickest and easiest way in getting those crystallization catalyst blueprints. Like I said, I've had more than ever doing it this way. I mean, yes, it's easy all down to chance, but at the same time, you save in doing it this way, plus how easy it is, it outweighs everything else in my opinion. So what about the other materials needed to research a crystallization catalyst? Well, firstly, we have the murky energy residue. So for this one guys, you want to be doing a Forgotten's mission upon sterile land. The fastest way to farm this is from starting it from Albion. So start the mission from here guys and make sure it's on that normal mode. And about 45 seconds to a minute into this mission, you'll come across an elite. Simply destroy the elite, pick up the materials. Then guys, you just abort the mission, return to Albion, restart it, rinse, repeat. Simple as that. So the next material you need is macromolecule biogels. So to get these guys, you just want to be farming the Sonic commissions at Neko Swamp. Rotate between the two or farm the same one over and over, but it is fast and reliable people. Next up guys, we have the mixed energy residue. So the fastest way to do this is to open vaults on Agna Desert, but using this method. Head to the Vermilion Waste area and run into this cave or hole in the floor. Within here guys, there should be a vault. Now once you open this, change the in-game difficulty, then load back into the same area. Run to the same spot and it should have reset. Keep doing this over and over by changing that difficulty, reloading the area, coming back to the vault, opening up until you have as many of these as you do indeed need. And lastly guys, we have the advanced neural circuit. So the quickest way I know of to get these is the White Knight Gulch mission of Fortress Courtyard. Make sure you do this on that normal mode. And uh, once you start this up, you can basically run to an elite. You take him out and just simply abort the mission and restart it. You can do this and get three, I think it's three or four every 15 seconds by doing it this way. It's so, so easy guys. Again, start the mission, run to this spot, take out the elite, then abort the mission, restart it, run back here, take out the elite, rinse, repeat. It is that simple people. But yes guys, this is by far, in my opinion, the quickest way to get those crystallization catalysts within the first descendant. Like I said, I've got more than ever right now. I'm actually getting these doing this at a faster rate than I can research them. So yeah, it is absolutely crazy guys. But again, do what you gotta do. These crystallization catalysts are very, very important to your progression within the first descendant. And in today's guide, people, if you follow this, you shouldn't have a problem whatsoever. Ever. So yes, there we have it guys, an updated version of how you get crystallization catalyst the fastest and quickest way, in my opinion. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps me out. If you like what you see and want to see more of the first descendant, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.